Barry Morgan and Kara Williams. Brought to you by New Coffee Mate, Carnation's non-dairy coffee creamer. And by Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk, the Magic Crystals Instant. New Coffee Mate, a non-dairy coffee creamer is here. Look, something wonderful has happened to coffee. It's Carnation's new coffee creamer discovery, Coffee Mate. It's revolutionary. It's a non-dairy product specially designed to be a better coffee creamer. New Coffee Mate is free-flowing. Dissolves completely and instantly in your coffee. Gives it a rich golden color. Brings out the true flavor of coffee. Never, never hides it. And Coffee Mate needs no refrigeration. Doesn't form unappetizing lumps in the cup. And a spoon for spoon, it costs one-third less than ordinary powdered products. Enjoy Carnation's new coffee creamer discovery, Coffee Mate, today. It's the nicest thing that could happen to a cup of coffee. She's wonderful. Sensational. Sensational, Mr. Murtaugh. Victor, I just said that. $500 a week I pay a press agent and he can't think of his own adjectives. <laughs> uh, I'm flying to Los Angeles tonight to make all the final arrangements. Good, good, good. good. I'll follow you in the morning. <laughs> They'll acclaim her. And after the opening night, <laughs> after the opening night, they'll put her footprints right in front of the Groman's chow mein. <laughs> chow mein? <laughs> I just said that. $500 a week, and all I get, little sir, record. <laughs> Never have they seen anyone like Michel Tabor. Never! <laughs> These will fit, Pete? <laughs> They're okay, I guess. Does he plan on wearing a suit over them? He keep them warm when he goes fishing. Maybe they have one with shorter legs. Let's see. No. Not much difference, really. I think that... <laughs> Excuse me, sir, you're standing on my underwear. <laughs> no, no, see, your foot's right there on the... the oh, that the face, that face! Could it be there two faces like that face? <laughs> no, you must forgive me. But you are the exact image of Michel Tabor. What, what's a Michel Tabor? <laughs> you mean you don't know this wonderful, magnificent woman? You don't read newspapers, magazines? Oh, oh, is she the woman that wrote that book that was banned in Connecticut because she... Five hundred dollars a week! I paid that for a schnooge, my agent. <laughs> you don't know who is Michel Tabor? Madam, please. Call me at the Brentwood Hills Hotel, and I'll arrange tickets for you. Tickets? Yes, yes. I want you to see what you could have been if you didn't spend your time behind that underwear. <laughs> talked about Michelle Tabor like she was a big star. She's got to be in here somewhere. Well, I haven't seen anyone looks like you, but you know, Sophia Loren looks remarkably like me. <laughs> We've got to find her, Betty. He said she was magnificent and wine, and she looked exactly like me. Here she is. Where? She does look like you. Exactly like me. She's gorgeous. I'm the toast of the French Riviera. 
Voulez-vous, monsieur? Qu'est-ce que c'est, some French toast, monsieur? Merci, beans. Champs, Elysee, monsieur? Merci, dose to you, too. Say, your latest fiancé is Mr. Henry Shumley, the fabulous oil baron. Oh, Henry. A dear boy, but oh, such a bore. He showers you with gifts. What's he bought me lately? A boat. A boat? Henry and his dreadful sense of humor. Oh, my, whatever am I going to do with the Liberté? Get this. Now, last month, at the Monte Carlo roulette tables, you dropped 90,000 francs and laughed. Ha! <laughs> Darling, we can't win all the times, dear. We have to lose sometimes. <laughs> and under the aegis of impresario, Mr. Leon Murtock, you're about to make your American dance debut. Oh, I'm a dancer. I'm a dancer. <laughs> 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 Mind if I play through? Oh, hi, Pete. Yeah, but Terry will be coming home. I gotta run. See you later. See you, Betty. So long, Betty. Guess who I am? Well, give me a clue. Is it animal, vegetable, or mineral? I'm a dancer, but guess which one? Ray Bolger. Very funny. Wait till I show you. Oh, forget it, Gladys. I got a very big problem. What's wrong? I was on the verge of closing a big insurance deal with Mr. Clinton of Clinton Electronics. Now the whole deal may fall through. Oh, no, Pete. Why? Well, I invited Mr. Clinton and his wife to the theater tonight. I find I can't get tickets to the one show they want to see. Oh, darling, that's terrible. What show is that? It's the opening night of a dance recital. Some hoofer named uh, Michelle Tabor. <laughs> Michelle Tabor? Yeah, I know. I never heard of her either. Pete, I can get tickets. Gladys, they've been sold out for weeks. Nobody can get tickets. Nobody unless they look like me, the owner of the Liberté. What are you talking about? Where are you going? I'm going to the Brentwood Hills Hotel. I'll be back in a half hour with the tickets. Get dressed. <laughs> Why did I leave Paris, huh? Why did I come to America? For why? For money, my darling. <laughs> Mamushka, look. Look at this beautiful country. <laughs> you are taking advantage of me. You know I don't understand business. Where is my percentage of the overage, the gross profits, the corporation, the capital gains? You know I know nothing about business. <laughs> Something to her, Victor. Please, 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 say something. Mr. Boar, if I... <laughs> Who asked you to open your big mouth? Why do I come to this country, huh? For the publicity I get? I am a shelter boar. My debut. I am on the front page. No. On the front page. A monkey. Mama, angel, now. How could we know that on the very day you arrive, they'll shoot up a rocket at Cape Canubio? <laughs> Please, please, in five minutes, you're going to have a press conference. Let's have interview the monkey! Mamushka, <laughs> please, you cannot insult American press! Michel Tabor can insult anyone! Oh, Mr. Murtock. Mr. Murtock, remember me? I'm the underwear girl. <laughs> no, I have no time right now. Oh, Mr. Murtaugh, you promised me. Victor, that girl was a nothing. A nobody. A nobody. I discovered her. I made her a salary. Did you see? Did you see the way she spoke to me? If there is one thing I cannot stand, it's pepper. That girl is pepper. And I can't stand it pepper. Excuse me, Mr. Murtaugh, but you said this morning if I ever needed tickets. Look, I don't care what I said I said. It's what I'm saying now. And tomorrow I may be saying something entirely different. And even then I can reverse my mind. <laughs> Wait a minute. She looks exactly like Michelle. Victor, Victor, in five minutes I have a press conference and you waste my time by telling me that she looks exactly... <laughs> Listen, what an idea I got. We can still have that press conference. Quite, quite, quite. Hungry. look. 
Look at me. Now. 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 Smile. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Now. 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 Look. Seductive. <laughs> Just smile. Victor, stall the press. We'll be ready in ten minutes. What's the matter with your mouth? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Murtaugh, this morning you said that if I ever made tickets for the... Oh, you, you have them, you have them. Throw the roll, same thing. Oh, Mr. Murtaugh, how can I ever thank you? You can, you can. And Victor, get me one of Michelle's flatter wigs. Come on, young lady. You want me to smile? Smile. <laughs> this is the Kellogg's naming scientist. Listen now as he tells us how he named the famous Kellogg's breakfast cereal. Uh, we were like feeding information into the name brain, you know. It's made by Kellogg's. Oh. It has the toastiest Kellogg's brand flakes, the best of the brand. Mm. Mixed with the best, the sweetest California raisins. Wow, 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 wow. So, uh, I like, what's the name brain? <laughs> the brain wants to taste it. The name brain names it Kellogg's Raisin Bran. What else? What Ellitz indeed says it better. The sweetest raisins and best bran flakes. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. Kellogg's best to you. Uh, that's Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Wow, 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 wow. Well, well, how much longer do we have to wait for Miss Tabor? Yeah, we have to carry on. Please, please, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tabor was unavoidably detained, but she'll be right with you. Victor, we're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the great honor to present to you that great new star, that first lady of the dance, Miss Michelle Tabor. <laughs> Michelle, my dainty little darling. <laughs> come up, come up, dear. That's wonderful. That's beautiful. <laughs> Mr. Boer, will you look this way, please? <laughs> Mr. Boer, may I have your opinion of American men? Uh, listen, please, please, please. Only pictures, no dialogue, please. Uh, with the dogs? With, uh, with the... Victor, the dogs! <laughs> <laughs> of you at the piano. Standing still, please. <laughs> come, come on, Michelle, Michelle, my dear little command. Well, come here, if you please. <laughs> we have some pictures of you dancing, Mr. Moore. <laughs> Don't tell yourself. You don't uh, how, about a, how about a ballet pose, Mr. Moore? Like so. <laughs> <laughs> Costume? Uh, yes, of course. Of course. Oh. Did a Mrs. Porter leave a message here for me? I'm Mr. Porter. No, I've had no inquiries for you, Mr. Porter. We well, sure you haven't seen her. She, she's about this high. She'd have been in the lobby here looking for me, I guess. And she's got red hair. Red hair? No, I haven't seen her. I'd like to help you, though. Oh, all right. Well, thank you. It's all right, Mr. Porter. <laughs>
a woman have that face and such a terrible sense of balance? My husband. Your husband. Your... My husband. Not if you want to have four tickets. Gladys, what's going on here? Uh, who is that man? I have never seen him before in my life. Remove him. <laughs> Four tickets you are promised, four tickets you get. Oh, well, what's that? Oh, first row center. Well, say, that's great. Say, maybe you could tell me, who is my wife impersonating in there with the black wig and everything? For a while, she's impersonating Michelle Tabor. The face of an angel your wife has got, and the feet of the red skeleton. He's <laughs> ready by now, so I better go and see. Well, would you please hurry her along? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Porter, just a curiosity. How many times a day do you have to pick her up off the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Gladys. Please, I'm late for the theater. Yeah, I know, honey. I got the tickets, and that was great. <laughs> Gladys, I can understand you putting on an act when you're having your pictures taken, but I don't know what this is. Wait a minute. Bring him back. <laughs> what is this pictures taken? Allons-y. You know what is this about pictures taken? Your performance. Now drop it, along with that phony accent. Performance? What are you talking about? There, in the crystal room. Crystal room? Pictures? Crystal? Yeah, pictures. How about one last shot of you and your manager, Mr. Boer? Uh, how about some cheesecake? I'd love some, thank you. <laughs> oh, how dare they do that to me? What? Me! Come on, shall we go? Oh, it's time I get my hands on that murder, I will kill! You, Gladys, remember me, Pete, That's your husband? Michelle, huh? And the dinner with the Clintons? Oh. And the Tabor recital? Tabor recital? Yeah, Tabor recital. The Tabor recital, hmm. That should be very amusing, without Tabor. <laughs> Let's go, Shelley. Uh, wait a minute. What about this masquerade outfit and that tired accent bit? Oh, these clothes are only borrowed to me. The accent, well, uh, that will take a little time. Oh, brother, it's gonna be another one of those evenings. <laughs> Hello, Betty, this is Pete. Gladys' husband. At least I think I am. I mean, I started out the evening as Gladys' husband, but somehow I seem to have wound up with Michelle Tabor. The real Michelle Tabor, that is. Well, I'm going along with the gag, but I'd like to know, where is the real Mrs. Porter? Oh, she isn't home. Well, with the kind of mix-up I've got here, she can't be far away. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Mr. Murtock, I've helped you all I can. I've got to go. My husband will be worried about I me. I told you, I told you. I gave him the ticket. I'm sure he's out front right now. Oh, but I can't. No, 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 no. Those are newspaper people. They're watching us. If they'll find out that you are you, I'm ruined. Now, please, Michelle will be here any minute. Well, suppose she doesn't come. She, 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 she's got to come. She's on any moment. Wait. Those newspaper people, I'll get rid of them. You know, I'm most grateful to you, Porter. Mrs. Clinton and I were very anxious to see Mr. Boer. Did you read the magazine article about her where she lost 90,000 francs and just laughed? That was hysteria, darling. Sheer hysteria. <laughs> well, we're really looking forward to seeing her dance. So are we, aren't we, Gladys? Oh, Sherry, I wouldn't miss this performance for all my future alimony. <laughs> what a charming accent your wife has, Mr. Porter. I could listen to her all night. I'm beginning to think you will. <laughs> That's our cue. Come on.
I didn't know it was going to be so amusing. It's not supposed to be amusing. Monsieur Tabon is a great dancer, not a cheap comedian. debut last night, Miss Michelle Tabor proved that she is a dancer without peer. Perhaps her finest number of the evening was her hilarious Apache dance, where at times she gave the illusion of being two people. We say bravo to Miss Tabor. Oh, how do you like that, Pete? I got a bravo. You're lucky you didn't get a black eye. Miss Tabor was furious. Well, I couldn't care less about Miss Tabor. She's got a terrible disposition. <laughs> Temper. Oh, I'll get it. Don't be afraid. I came here to tell you I am very grateful to you. The reviews were fantastic. Magnifique. I was just reading them. Uh, won't you come in, Mr. Boer? Oh, no, Sherry. I am sorry, but I am late. Monsieur Shumley and I are on the way to the theater. Oh, je m'excuse. You have not met my fiancé. Henri! Henri! <laughs> Say hello to Madame 
Porter. How do you do? But come along, my pigeon. We mustn't keep poor Murtock waiting. Delighted, I'm sure. Bonsoir. A tout à l'heure. Who was it, honey? He'll never believe it. Gladys, I don't see any point in you taking French lessons. It'll just be money down the drain. It will not be wasted. French is such an expressive language. It doesn't compare with ours. Oh, may we? Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Voila. Mm. I am not finished. You see, berries in glass, topped with whipped orange fruit juice topping. And it is very easy to make with Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk because the recipe for whipped fruit juice topping is on the Carnation Instant label. Of course, you can use any chilled fruit juice. Then you add Carnation's magic crystals and whip. Add lemon juice and whip again into luscious whipped topping, full of real fruit flavor. This is one thing you just can't do with whipping cream. And whipped Carnation Instant has two-thirds less calories than whipped cream. And it costs only two and a half cents a serving. You lost your accent, Gladys. Oh, it is a merveilleux way to add color to desserts with whipped carnation instant fruit juice topping. N'est-ce pas? C'est magnifique. And may I honor you, madame, with a typical French reward. May oui, merci, merci. <laughs> You're right, it doesn't compare with the American way. What I tell you? <laughs> Tonight, Pete and Gladys has been brought to you by New Coffee Mate, Carnation's non-dairy coffee creamer, and by Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk, the magic crystals instant.